hey, this is our bit. Just gonna go through this new thread design I've been working on. Um, it uses the M8 hardware, or M3-8 hardware. Uh, this is like a little optional piece for assembly right now. I'm still dialing in assembly, but this is how it is right now. Um, like a M316, just anything longer. Because um, part of the process here is on this side of the rail, the nut goes in. I found like you kind of slide it over the hole and it drops in and then you need something to pull it. So that's all this is for, just kind of thread it in. Hold it in place so that it starts pulling into the rail. Okay, and as soon as it's past flush, you can back it out. And then you're done with this screw. So uh, there's an access hole on this side, so that goes opposite of the nut slides in here uh, and then while that's in place there's a barrier that's printed in here uh, you slide the thing in and just push and it curls it around and so then that's done then you get your m3 8 and you can drop it in here and just switch into an easier tool and that goes in, and when everything is aligned, it will thread into the nut on the other side. Doesn't feel like it bit. Uh, I might not have pulled the nut in far enough, but you get the idea. And then this is the belt clamp. It slides around here grips in with the belt and then you just take any of the flower nuts or the regular nut and get it up against that and crank it down and that holds the belt and then everything is kind of held in place by that pin and it's almost bottomed out here so you get just everything is rigid here's a demonstration of how it can be easily swapped out once it's uh, once this nut is assembled correctly in there, I just pulled it in a little more. And then at this point, you can thread the belt in. And then finish tightening it. Finish it with this tool, and it's done.